Yes, continuing the class on uh, BBOC 407, Module 5, uh, Biology for Engineers. Uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Subscription is required. Please share to uh, your friends or students or others. Uh, let them watch uh, my video only. Okay, so lot of uh, effort I took to prepare all these materials, uh, you know, to understand it, to make it simple uh, way to present it, uh, that too, but too particular for uh, computer science students, separate syllabus is there, so that making them to understand and connecting to that stream and BB okay, so also I am uh, making videos uh, that is connecting to the uh, mass uh, as an engineering students. Uh, not no, not degrading as such. So it includes mechanical engineering, it includes uh, electronics engineering, it includes electrical engineering, civil engineering, and other streams. So so it's general. Uh, I think future uh, further it has to be split uh, for mechanical engineers uh, for uh, uh, electrical electronics uh, because whatever required from there, what, what is their contribution needed uh, towards uh, that? It it can be too specified and explained. Now something connecting to computer science, even a modification required for this syllabus, I feel so. Okay, so uh, anyhow, whatever possible that I am connecting and uh, uh, connecting into the computer science stream. Computer science stream contains uh, pure computer science, information science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, uh, artificial intelligence, data science, uh, computer science design, computer science business system, uh, related uh, streams uh, under VTU. They, uh, they can uh, refer my BBOC 407 and even I can refer 21 BE 45 previous years syllabus where in detail it is there if you want detail explanation also given uh, here I am not going in detail just connecting it so now the topic uh, okay, by keeping this image I talk this much ok now this is another image ok so you can see something related to nose and uh, tongue that is the uh, electrical tongue and electric nose electronic electric electronic electronic tongue and electronic nose okay what is electrical tongue electrical okay so electronic mm, okay. let it be okay not changing it uh, it can be it, it should be uh, electronic let me see the syllabus as such maybe there is a syllabus yeah, the syllabus it is given electrical <laughs> that's what uh, it has become like that. Okay, I will uh, do the required uh, changes uh, where I reached. Yeah, three depending over. Now we are on to the electronic. It's not electrical, it is electronic. The mountain with this bird section is the representing already function is there. Now how the electrical tongue or electronic tongue. Okay which is connecting to the electronics electric connection as well required okay a lot of uh, lot of artificial intelligence uh, uh, deep and machine learning concepts as well required now explain working principle of uh, electrical and electronic and i will make it electronic that is better The replaced, 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 replaced. Syllabus, I am not going to change it. Let it be. Yes, reach it to the point. Let me save this video. Otherwise, I lose it. Okay, so explanation of electronic tongue, explanation of electronic nose. Analysis of significance of, uh, in food quality control. Okay, so both electric tongue, electronic uh, tongue or electronic nose, uh, which uh, imitates uh, what is our natural tongue, what is our natural nose functioning. Okay, just uh, here mentioning a bitter, sour, salty, sweet. Uh, these are the different uh, taste buds that we have in our tongue. And uh, this is how the uh, nose works. There is a nasal cavity connecting to olfactory nerves are there, which will uh, sense the different uh, uh, smells 
smell in the sense different of uh, molecules are coming that smell containing molecules and it connect the right will connect to our brain and tell this is the particular smell uh, if already we know otherwise uh, new th something comes to then uh, it will record in the brain next time it comes it will uh, record uh, this particular uh, uh, smell already in the center. Now the electronic tongue and uh, electronic nose, these are nothing but the sensors. Sensors, you know, what are the sensors? Different sensors. Now the students of engineering students of fourth, uh, fourth semester computer science students, they know well about, better than me, they do know about sensors. So different sensors are required to, to sense sweet, to sense salt, to sense so to sense bitter. So that uh, this uh, that particular sensor, that particular uh, tongue material which is prepared uh, exactly mimicking or uh, similar to that uh, it can be used in food quality control uh, many other related uh, things uh, even uh, even uh, one day we can uh, check what is the taste of uh, some very well known uh, poison uh, people are trying to taste it and uh, write what is the taste uh, but before that they are dying you can guess what it is uh, you can comment it if you want okay but uh, I think whether you are uh, listening to this much or not, that I don't know. <laughs> People are watching initially and so checking whether the study material is given there or not. It is not given there. It is available here. You have noted down. Okay, so continuing the class. Explanation of electronic tongue. Definition and purpose, if I say, the electronic tongue, it is an analytical tool. Analysis, to do the analysis. Uh, uh, to do the analysis of... Uh, of uh, the food material or whatever related to beverages to analyze it what it is exactly what 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 is this taste of that uh, before touching to uh, that really the sensor will only will that so it's an analytical tool which is designed to mimic the human uh, 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 gustatory system uh, that is just with the taste and uh, connecting to the brain that system For food and beverage uh, quality checking application, it consists of an array of sensors that detects taste compounds and generate signal corresponding to the taste characteristics. Okay, what in principle sensor arrays are there for different taste qualities: sweet, sour, salt, bitter, umami. These different uh, taste uh, can sense different sensors are manufactured, prepared, come with uh, the organic molecule or without organic molecule that is it can be done so you understood what are the, array, the layers different layers are there so so that all these uh, different uh, taste can be identified the signal from the sensor are uh, processed to create a unique pattern or a fingerprint for each taste profile that you know data collection statistical methods and machine learning algorithms uh, they analyze the pattern to identify taste contribution so here this is what the computer science students uh, needed they need to do the data collection and uh, do the coding accordingly algorithms they have to use application if it can be used to evaluate taste consistency detect the deviation in food products uh, optimize uh, flavor formulations and access consumer preferences detect the contaminant contaminants and alterating effects uh, affecting taste okay that is for quality control product development safety assurance and uh, to check whether the expiry date is over or not. <laughs> You don't need to taste and tell, so it will tell whether it is expired or not because taste will vary, but you know, even smell also will vary. So, electronic nose is similar to that, way. it, it, it uh, mimics the olfactory detection, olfactory that you can see that this is olfactory, olfactory nerves, so that word comes there, olfactory, where it is, okay, olfactory detection system that replicates a human olfactory uh, perceptions to analyze the aroma, aroma means smell. Aromatic compounds, that's why the aroma word came. Aromatic compound that is organic uh, chemistry words uh, having uh, that uh, benzene type of structure and uh, they are uh, uh, they are having more uh, more smell is the so if such type of uh, compounds are present, the organic compounds are present in uh, food, then uh, the smell, different smell will be there. So it is something connecting to organic chemistry, uh, chemistry connection is there. Okay, so different uh, aroma producing compounds that already an organic chemistry expert knows so that can be taken as a sample uh, to collect the data uh, different uh, uh, compounds say like uh, uh, the volatile organic compounds 
are associated with that. So different sensors has to be manufactured, made to uh, sense those different aroma. And each sensor responds to specific volatile organic compounds, using as volatile organic compounds, generating a pattern. Then uh, pattern recognition algorithms are required connecting to a sensor. Then applications, quality assurance, fresh, uh, freshness assessment and flavor profiling are the main applications. So I am not going in detail about this because you are good at better than me computer science students. Once you got what is quality assurance, freshness assessment, flavor profile with the help of the sensors, that is your uh, project, you can take it as a project. Uh, yeah, you can take it as a project. <laughs> You can take it as a, your major project, either electronic nose or electronic uh, uh, tongue, or the, though already it is available in market, but still you can try to different uh, uh, sensors you can manufacture, you can connect it to uh, the algorithms and you can uh, try to bring it uh, the results. Okay, when uh, the smell comes to that sensor, it sensors and immediately the display system shows that this is particular smell it is like that if you can you can do a mini project also. so analysis of significance in uh, food quality control benefits of electronic tongue and uh, nose in uh, food quality control objective analysis rapid screening early detection cost effectiveness uh, provide quantitative and objective data on uh, taste and aroma attributes reducing the the subjective evaluation uh, rapid screening quickly assesses large volumes of samples enhancing efficiency in uh, quality uh, assurance process early detection it detects uh, subtle changes in taste and aroma uh, indicative of quality determination uh, deterioration and uh, contamination quality deterioration if happens it should detect reduce cost associated with traditional sensory panels and chemical analysis challenges sensor variability complexity of data interpretation application uh, specificity Sensor drift or uh, cross sensing affecting accuracy and uh, reproducibility is one of the challenge. Yes, some other comes then it get confused it's, it's not having that intelligence that uh, we have. So artificial intelligence further it has to be improved. Right now there is a confusion among the sensor different aroma comes cross sensing affect the accuracy. Uh, complexity of data interpretation integration of multiple sensor outputs and uh, interpretation algorithms required application specific uh, optimization required for different uh, uh, food matrices and uh, processing conditions future uh, directions sensor uh, technology advancements uh, uh, develops sensor with improved selectivity sensitivity and stability integration with artificial intelligence regulatory acceptance are the future acceptance future directions of uh, this lot of uh, regulatory acceptance required because something which you are making uh, mimicking to our natural tongue and uh, nose function it can be you misused as well because so protocols need to be followed and uh, integration with ai enhanced data analytics using artificial intelligence for real time quality monitoring and uh, predictive analytics uh, more lot of work has to be done even uh, in uh, artificial intelligence also required ai and the sensor with improved selectivity, sensitivity and stability. Okay, sensors development, the materials required, the material selection and the circuitry connections uh, to make it a uh, better selective, better sensitive and better stable uh, uh, is also a future direction of that. Okay, so materials are ready for uh, DNA origami. Remaining concepts are also ready. We will go keep on completing this at the earliest. Okay, so we are reaching to the end of uh, module 5 hours almost. Okay, so please do subscribe my YouTube channel. Please do share this information to others, uh, this video. Mm, material, uh, please check the video, pause the video, note, note down the material, whatever required. Images anyhow, images are not, no need to draw in exam. That is only to understand the topic. Okay, thank you very much.